Uh, it's a wonderful evening, and I see a very good audience here. So I have to talk about my most favorite instrument, the bass guitar. Before I talk about bass guitar, I think I should talk about bass. We know when we sp when you say the word bass, we know it's a bass, it's the bottom or something. And in music, also it's the bottom, the bass. So in music it says B A S S. That means the lower end of sound. And we know our audible range, you know, that is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. In this instrument, this last string is, that is 30 hertz. It changes a little bit. So if you put one more string here, you know, we won't be able to hear that. So this is the lowest range. So, and the beauty of the sound, the bass, we know when we listen to a music, you know, we know when, when it comes through a beautiful sound system, we get the real good feeling of the bass. And even the foot drum, you know, we get real good punch means that's because of the bass. Bass makes a music live. It's very powerful. It travels more. It's something like that. Okay, that's it. So uh, this, this kind of bass guitar was invented in, 19, in the 1930s by Paul Tatmar. Before that, people were playing the upright bass or the big uh, double bass. That's called the, that's like, you know, big bass with big bottom. People used to play like that. Later, you know, musicians found it very difficult to transport it for during gigs. So after the you know, arrival of these pickups, you know, people started, uh, yes, uh, the Tatmark invented this guitar like this, a very small guitar. So now people are using that, even people are using the double bass also, which gives beautiful sound. And during the changes of that instrument, there were changes in the playing style also. The basic style of playing the bass is or the traditional style is picking the bass, picking with the fingers. Like, I can show you like. That is the traditional, you know, picking style with the fingers. And thank you. And you can also, you know, play, play with, you know, platinum. This is actually used by, you know, some bass players use this platinum, especially for some rock music, metal, all these things. You can play with this, like. That way you can you can play with plucker, and there are different like hammer on, pull ons, tapping. Different techniques are there like hammer on, and but during the changes in the 1960s and 70s, uh, some bass players like you know Larry Graham, Louis Johnson, they didn't have a drummer in the beginning for their rehearsal, so he he wanted to have a drum, you know, somebody playing like drums. So he started playing a percussive method on the bass. So uh, then, that was actually, you know, even double bass players, you know, they used to play the percussive method. So he invented that kind of uh, percussive method that is called slab bass. People started calling it slab bass because that was you, that those times people were playing in the funk, in the disco, and the pop music. So people, nowadays, everyone is, people are playing it in jazz and all kinds of genres. So playing that uh, slap, I will play the traditional funk, 
the slap bass. Traditional slapping is played with the thumb. Then pulling with the forefinger. That is the traditional slap bass. Uh, I was finding it very difficult to, because I was playing in a cover band and I was finding it very difficult to play this style. Because I was, play, I was a drummer and I used to play Murdangam also in the beginning, the South Indian percussion instrument. So for me, this, this kind of tabla or Murdangam style was easy. So I, I used to play that kind of style, like. This was what I, I was playing. So, thank you. So when I started playing this kind of a style, uh, my friends and a lot of musicians said, you know, oh, Jane, this is not the style. You have to go to the real, you know, conventional style. This is not good. This is unconventional. You should not play that. Then I, I used to get confused. Oh, okay, this is wrong. So I, will, I, I started playing. I used to play that. But it was difficult, so it, it, uh, I was going there and doing it and stopping that. It, it was like that for many, many years. After that, when, this, uh, the, when I, I got access to internet, uh, some of my musicians, my friends, you know, they uploaded my video in the internet. Then I started getting many appreciation from many bass, bass players and many people outside India and also in India. Like the king of bass, like Butsky Collins, like that, you know. They said, this is a really, really a good style. You, you, you have to continue this. Oh, that was a motivation for me. So I, I thought I should, I should go ahead with this style. Also, I heard one great bass, bass player, he said, it doesn't matter how you play, it matters how it sounds. So those things really uh, motivated me. So I, I started my journey, because, especially because when you get you know, some kind of motivation. So I started playing that. Then I thought, I, I was playing Murdangam, I have that bold thing, bold. We can, we, uh, in the South Indian, and in North India, we, uh, the tabla players, they say it's bold. That means the vocal syllables. And in South India, it's called konakol, or okay, it's, it's actually called the vocal syllables. Syllables means, you know, like, you know, takdimitam, takdimitam, takdim, takdinatam, that kind of. Uh, syllables are there. Syllables are actually, you know, made by, you know, musicians in previous years because they want to make syllables for this tabla murdangam. But in every name, each and every name, there is this uh, timing. Uh, some, some usually we play that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. That's common time, all these things, you know. But some timings which are very, you know, people say it's difficult. Those timings are actually a number which cannot be divided by two, like five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, like that. Those timings are considered to be a bit difficult to play. But we have, if you take my name, there is a timing. Like if you keep saying my name, Jayan Varma, Jayan Varma, that is five, seven, Jayan, that means Takita. Takadimi, Varma, Tak Jayan Varma, Takata, Takadimi, Jayan Varma, one to three, one to three, it was there. So I started thinking about that, and for example, I can show you a simple demo. If you say Delhi for four times, you get Delhi, 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 Delhi. That means it is two plus two plus two plus two, eight. You can add a Calcutta. Calcutta, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, that is three. So if you play, I, I'm, I'm very, I make, I'm making it very simple because, you know, you will be understanding that. So if you keep saying Calcutta and Delhi, uh, that means you will get a timing of 11, 11 by 8. Some musicians make up such music, you know. I'll just show you how that is played. Like daily, 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 
Delhi, 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 Calcutta, Delhi, 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 Calcutta, Delhi, 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 Calcutta, Delhi, 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 Calcutta, Delhi, 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 Calcutta, 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 Delhi, Delhi,
give some percussive sound. When you do some solos, you can say. Like that, you can do some, something, you know. You don't, you don't need to play all the time that. That was how I was doing. And then I, I thought I, sh I should mix all these types. That will be good. Uh, uh, but I know that if, if a young boy, is ta if he can learn these things in the, from his childhood, he can do many, many, many things on bass. Because I, I, I had, I wasted a lot of years because I was discouraged. Uh, so you, uh, people can do it better, and people can even follow kind of classic Indian classical music with that. Even violin, that, that, that instrument is a Western instrument, and who knows, in future, people will be able to back this. Uh, I will show you how I, you know, makes these, everything together.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All I understand is there, you know. It doesn't matter how you do something, it matters how it sounds. So whatever way you may be doing something in future, you know, in the way you like, and it will reach somewhere. You don't, you, you don't always have to follow the traditional methods, you know, if you are doing something. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you so much.